What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am finally doing my January Ipsy unboxing. I have been waiting to do this. I've been waiting for all of my Ipsy bags to get here. They're finally here. We're gonna do it. I'm very excited. I've been having a really good January. It's been mm, a little chaotic, but I like it. I'm trying to make a bunch of changes in my life. I'm trying to set a bunch of goals and actually reach them, resolutions and reach them. I'm very excited. It's a good time. Um, today we are going to unbox the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Two that I purchased myself and then two that Ipsy was kind enough to send me. So thank you very much for that Ipsy. And we're going to compare the two. See if we like the PR one or the purchase one better. We're going to do all that. And then in, I think at the end of the week, I'm going to do a video where I try on everything. Well, I try on a full face of stuff from the bags. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the bags that Ipsy sent me. And then obviously if you're interested in seeing only like the purchased ones or if you're interested in just knowing like when the other boxes come up, I'll have timestamps for all of them down below. So this is what the bags look like. They're so cute. I actually really like this little pattern. It's a very cute, it's like a jelly bag almost, and I like that. We're gonna start with the Ipsy Glam Bag that Ipsy gifted to me. Um, so once again, thank you, Ipsy. The Glam Bag is $12 a month, and it is five sample to full size products. I'll have like links and descriptions and everything down below. This bag is seriously, I'm like weirdly into this bag. It's like, it's see-through, right? And it says dream on it in stars. And I don't know, I just get such like 2000s vibes from this, like early Britney Spears. and I love that it's so adorable so let's take a look to see what we got the first thing is the kinship naked papaya gentle enzyme face cleanser okay i really like the kinship brand i've tried a few things from there i think that the packaging is adorable and i really like the products that i've tried so far oh look at that packaging though and then the full size comes in like one of those bottles almost like the glossier one which i love the packaging of that I'm very excited about that. Bare face equals happy place. This is a daily and non-foaming cream cleanser that purifies, hydrates, and softens skin without stripping. It has a smoothie-like texture. Okay, okay. I'm very excited about that. We all know that I have like this ridiculous problem with face washes and I just can't ever seem to get enough. That smells so good. I'm really excited to try that actually because I really like the Kinship brand and obviously I really like face washes. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. Um, next, we have the Youth to the People Kombucha Plus 11% AHA Exfoliation Power Toner. So it's an exfoliating facial toner with lactic and glycolic black tea and tree bark. Okay, um, Youth to the People is a brand that I have used before. I've actually used their cleanser before. Oh my gosh, their cleanser is so good. Do you see what I mean? Um, I don't think, I've never tried one of their toners before and I've never tried a kombucha toner. It's definitely like the ingredients that you're smelling. I don't think that it, I don't think that it has like its own fragrance. So it's literally just like the, fra the ingredients that you're smelling. It's very interesting. So it's an overnight liquid exfoliator that's clinically proven to minimize the appearance of pores in just one week. Oh, okay. I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, I don't, I didn't even know that they had this. I didn't know this was a thing, but that's really cool. Okay, then we have the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Celestial. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a full-size product. These shimmer veils are so good. I've had a couple of them. I've actually used up a couple of them. They are so good. And that is a shade that I will definitely get some use out of because that is just a beautiful, like, light pink pearl iridescent shade. Oh my god, look at that. I love that. I know I have a couple of these, like, left over that I haven't used up yet, but these are so good. And they last and they don't crease, which is the big one for me because typically when you're dealing with, like, liquid or cream shadows, they tend to crease really easily. And I have yet to have an issue with the Cover FX ones creasing on me. And these are like so underrated though because the Stila ones are always talked about. I feel like the Cover FX ones are never spoken about. Okay, this is from Biro New York. This is the Salmon Cream, a luxuriously rich cream that combines peptides and salmon caviar to, to effectively smooth, firm, and plump the skin. So this is 0.67 fluid ounces. Biro New York, I have used some of their products before. They have really nice products. They're like really bougie products. So I'm obviously down for this. Oh, that's like a really thin cream. It has a really like fresh scent to it too. Okay, I could definitely get on board with this. And once again, I love this packaging. There's like pictures of salmon at the top. And Biro is a cruelty-free brand. Um, this is this is nice though. I've never been one for like salmon creams, but we'll have to give that a shot. The theme this month is Dream It, by the way. It's new month, new year, and the sky's the limit. When you start small, a trim here, a bold lip there, your grandest glow goals will be within reach. So 2021, January. Um, and then the last thing in this bag is a mini Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Oh my God, do you guys remember these liquid lipsticks? 
Like genuinely, I have not seen these in so long. I don't even think I have any of these anymore. I didn't know they still made these. Oh, I can't get the wrapper off. I don't even know if I have any of these anymore. And this was always my favorite shade of these liquid lipsticks. It was always so, oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at that. I'm really excited about that because I love, I love, love, love these things. And I like that this is a mini size because full size lipsticks takes up so much time. They take so long to like fully use up and it really drives me batty because I have so many of them. So I'm, mm, this is just perfect. It's just perfect. Oh my God. Okay. Good bag. Very good bag. I'm very happy with it. Obviously the bag itself is really cute. I'm stoked about the mini lippy. I'm stoked about the sample, the skincare samples because... <laughs> I mean, it's all like good stuff, you know what I mean? And then obviously a full size cover of Action Reveal. I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. So very good bag, thank you very much again to Ipsy. Um, we'll have to see how mine compares, but honestly, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be a tough one. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at the gifted Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. The bag is cute again. It's like a nice blue cinch drawstring bag and it says dream all over it. I don't love the drawstring bags. I much prefer like the makeup bags, but is this a cute bag? I will say. I like that. Okay, so the first thing in here, La Russe. This is a brush, which oh, I'm always down for. It. This is nice. This is like, this is the um, La Russe LR222 Kabuki. So it's a super duper teeny tiny Kabuki. I actually like these for blending in like concealer or if you've got any like detail work or anything to be done. It's really nice. And this is so, it's so soft. And I actually really do like this handle too. Like it's not typically what I go for, but it's kind of this dark blue studded and I do like that. So good start, good start. Then we have oh, the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This is a coconut oil leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh hair down. So I had a sample of an IGK hair balm and I'm pretty sure it was this one. And if it was, oh, it was. Oh, I recognize that scent. It smells so good. Okay, so I have actually used a sample of this stuff before and it is good. I love leave-ins, but my hair is really picky when it comes to leave-ins and this is good. Oh my God, okay, yes. I will take that, I will use that, thank you. Okay, then we have the Anastasia Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Now with Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it's $25 a month and you get to choose three out of five items and they're all full size. So in my personal bag, I actually ended up choosing this as well, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. So it's interesting to me that this was also in my PR Gifted bag, but I'm cool with it because I've heard really good things about this and obviously it's Always nice to try out a new mascara. We're gonna go ahead and open it because I'm gonna end up doing my makeup with this stuff anyways. <gasps> Ooh, okay. See, I love these types of brushes where it's just like the very, it's like the hourglass shape almost, but it's very thick. Those are my favorite types of brushes because I feel like that helps to evenly coat everything. I'm really excited to try this. As soon as I saw it in the options, I was like, yes, I need that in my life for sure. So very excited about that. Um, we have the Florence by Mills Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. Okay, this is an iridescent purple peel off mask. Helps us reset our skin after a tiring week. Purifying charcoal draws out dirt and oil, while witch hazel and lavender oil keep skin cute and happy. Just wait until you peel it off. Oh my God, that is so cute. That is so cute. And someone commented the last time I did a video where I talked about Florence by Mills. I don't remember what video it was, but someone commented because I said that I think that this brand is like Millie Bobby Brown's brand, Millie Bobby Brown, her brand from Stranger Things. And someone said that I was correct in that statement. So look at how stunning that is. It's very liquidy. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I cannot wait for that. I got it all over the side of the cap in my excitement there. Um, I'm very excited because that's beautiful. I really like peel masks because I don't like, I, I, I like all masks, right? But wash off masks, I like them, but they tend to be like, in my personal opinion, messier. And I don't like having to like wash it all off. I much like I really like peel off masks, but then like my favorites are peel off and clay and clay obviously you have to wash off too. So I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm really excited about that though. That looks very intriguing and I love peel off masks that are like 
like fun, you know what I mean? And I know it doesn't normally do anything extra for your skin, but it's just fun. All right, the last product in our Dream It bag, this is a Pure Lease Blue Lotus, a balancing moisturizer, hydrates and balances, prevents fine line and preps skin for makeup. I have used this before. Actually, this is a phenomenal moisturizer. Um, I really do like using this type of moisturizer in the morning because it just, I mean, it makes your skin feel so good and so soft and it gives you a really good base to start the prep for makeup. Just like it says, I mean, this, lives up to its claims. I've talked about this before. Even the eye cream, the Blue Lotus um, like eye serum. I adore serum. I'm using it in my sample project right now and it is such a good eye cream. I love like this whole line. So good. So I'm always down to have a backup of a backup of a backup of this. Okay, so this bag, we had a moisturizer that is a fan favorite. We had a peel-off mask that I'm really excited to try. A hydrating hair balm that I have tried and I'm very excited for. The mascara that I wanted to try and a really nice mini kabuki brush and this was a good bag I will say I don't know even with and this is where in my personal opinion it gets fun because with my own bags obviously I picked out some of the products and I don't know if it's gonna be able to compete with these because these were good bags so let's go ahead we'll take a look we're going to start with my ipsy glam bag $12 a month and oh okay hang on not everything would fit in the bag the bag itself is the same, and then obviously you have the little information card. We have some things that won't fit in the actual bag itself, so let's take a look at those first. First thing is an SL Miss Glam Foundation B12 brush. This is so beautiful. It's got like these blue sparkles inside. Oh, I love that. This is a really tiny foundation brush. Um, I would probably use this for concealer. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to kind of play around with that and see how it goes. It feels a little, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this to see how it goes. I don't typically use foundation brushes. Nine times out of ten I use some type of beauty blender or something, but we'll have to play around with this. We'll have to kind of see, see what we can do with that. It's a beautiful brush though, and you guys know how I am about brushes. Mm. Um, and then we also got two, oh, I never know how to say this brand. This is um, Sue A.E. Meh, yes, no. Um, we got two masks. We got the Hanbang Collagen Mask and then the Hanbang Hyaluronic Acid Mask. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of sheet masks. I'm trying to move away from them unless I get them in subscription boxes. <laughs> uh, they are really good. It's just, it does provide a lot of waste to the environment, which I try to stay away from as much as I can. Um, I've used this brand before, though. They make really good sheet masks, so... I am excited for that. All right. Um, then we have, oh, this is actually the product that I chose because with your FC Glam Bag, you do get to choose one of your products. This is the one that I chose. This is from Item Beauty. It's the Air Hug Concealer, smoothing medium to full coverage concealer. I got mine in the shade One Fair Neutral. Oh, look at how cute that is. This was a little baby. Oh my God, but the wand. I'm kind of, okay, I know a lot of people don't like the size of like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love the size of that wand and I'm really excited that other brands are kind of like trying to make that a thing. Ooh, that's really light. The shade that I chose is slightly concerning for me because it is super light, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see how it works out. I'm really excited about it. Ugh. Concealers are something that isn't super common to get in subscription boxes because it's harder to shade match and nowadays um, a lot of places like Ipsy are able to give you more choices so you can kind of pick your own shade and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right then we have the Jules Smith Beauty. This is, it just says skinny dip. So is it a gloss? I have some liquid lipsticks glosses from Jules Smith Beauty. I cannot remember which ones they are right now, but I remember really liking them. So if that helps at all. Um, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's definitely a gloss. That is a really pretty shade though. Okay, I can get down for that. And I like the size of this because I feel like this would last a little bit, but it wouldn't be like super overwhelming. And if you're the type of person who gets overwhelmed with just having like a whole bunch of makeup all the time with like subscription boxes and shopping and things like that but you still want to get like the experience of trying out new things um that other like that are picked for you based off your profile i'd recommend the glam bag because it's nice to get like little samples of things um it's less commitment which is one of the reasons that i like it even though I obviously don't have a problem with commitment either. All right, and the last product in here, this is from Formula 10.0.6. This is the Thirst No More Moisturizer. Quench your thirsty skin with this powerful moisturizer containing a natural complex combination of watermelon, lentil, and apple extracts. Okay, there's also some hyaluronic acid and white tea. Okay, 
Uh, Formula 10.0.6 is a brand that I have used before. I actually really like the brand. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this though. It's really like gentle and I feel like it's, I mean, it blends in really nicely. It sinks into the skin and this part of my arm right now feels way more hydrated than any other part of my body. Um, I'm excited to try that out. That seems really great and obviously for moisturizers I like a lot of hydration. So looking back um this box is pretty good we have a nice lip gloss we've got a moisturizer a concealer a brush and a couple of masks and i am pretty pleased with that so let's take a look at the ipsy glam bag plus that i purchased myself once again 25 dollars five full-size products and you get to pick three out of the five let us take a look oh okay um this has an advertisement for the glam bag x which is what i spoke about in my last ipsy unboxing video eight full-size products that you get to choose three of worth up to 428 dollars curated favorites from celebrity makeup artist patrick ta exclusive access to the hottest brands like pat mcgrath labs huda beauty igk r co and more i've already signed up for the ipsy glam bag x so my note card says that the glam bag x will replace my glam bag plus next month the first glam bag x ever is going to be a collaboration with patrick ta so i'm really excited about that actually because i've seen some spoilers and they look really good so all right okay Back to my Glam Bag Plus. So the first product in here, this is the Billion Dollar Brows Best Brow Tool Kit Ever. Professional quality and salon approved. I really like getting brow products in here because whenever I go shopping for makeup, I never want to buy um, like tools, especially not like tweezers and things like that because I'm just, they're not fun to me. Uh, but they are very useful, so it's nice to have them. So this one comes with the eyebrow brush. I have this brush from Billion Dollar Brows, and I freaking love it. It's got a spoolie on one end, the brush on the other. A pair of stainless steel scissors, and then we also have a pair of tweezers. All of the tweezers that I currently have right now are like stupid, stupid dull, so I'm actually really excited about these because now I can have my brows done by Brit without her ripping off half of my skin uh, but yeah so it's it's very nice I like getting like tools and stuff and the things that I don't necessarily like want to shop for in subscription boxes because it reduces my need to shop for them um, and obviously brows I'm trying to get more into like just brow maintenance and making them look nice so it's really great to get something like this that I don't have to purchase myself so that's nice uh, let's see. Oh, we also have a couple of brushes in here. Speaking of tools, and seriously, some of my favorite brushes have come from subscription boxes, so I'm just like, send me all of them, please. Um, okay, so these are both from Firma. We have the 403 and the 201. Ooh, this looks like a really nice blending brush. And this one looks almost more of like a shader brush or like something that you'd use to pack on your eyeshadow with. Those are really great, though. They feel really soft, too. Okay. Not get ahead of myself here. All right, then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Like I mentioned when I was doing the PR unboxing, um, this was one of my choices because I was really excited about it, and I cannot wait to actually try it instead of just looking at the brush. Next, we have, oh, what is this? Ooh, this is the Pixie by Petra Nuance Quartet. It's a blush quad in Honey Nectar. I love Pixie's packaging, I really do. Like, I just love this green, it's so cute. It reminds me of a forest. <gasps> Hello, look at that, look at that. So you have like a bronzer shade, a bright, blush shade a beautiful gold highlight and then like a very nice light pink highlight unnecessary swatches of the four of them but they are so pretty so i'm really excited about that pixie i feel like has come a really long way from where like they first kind of got their start to fame i feel like the product quality has increased so much and i'm actually really excited to give this a shot oh oh this gold highlight, you guys, I cannot stop staring at it. I think it is so pretty. Okay. All right, and then the last product in here, this is from Complex Culture. This is the Time Pressed Lip Balm. Ooh, that packaging is fancy. This Complex Culture brand, I've talked about it again in a couple of my past Ipsy videos, and they're, I just, I love their packaging. It's so pretty. Um, this is very much like a lipstick packaging, but the product itself is just a clear lip balm. Okay, I'm really excited about that, actually. It's so fancy. I love really fancy lip balms. I don't know why. I just, like, lip balm is such, a, like, a necessity in my head. And I feel like the fancier it is, just, like, the more bougie and excited I feel to use it. Does that make sense? I'm a crazy person. Ignore me. Uh, but, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm actually really excited to try that. And it feels really nice on the skin. This is a silky satin clear formula enriched with naturally moisturizing botanicals, vitamin E, jojoba oil, and squalene. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, so this bag was also really good. We had a full size lip balm. We had a beautiful pixie palette. We had a nice billion dollar brows brush tool set. Two eyeshadow brushes and an Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I don't even know like which one I preferred, the PR versus the purchased one, and I feel like I never quite do because they're all, it's all just so good. Like I just get so excited at the prospect of trying new things. And if like, if you're like me, Ipsy is definitely for you because it's so much fun every month. I like the fact that it's, it's the most customizable beauty box that I personally have found because if you get like the Glam Bag Plus, you get to choose three out of your five products. You're choosing more than half of your bag, which I personally think is phenomenal. So I'm always really thrilled with my Ipsy. I'm just, mm, I'm just in heaven. I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know down below what you guys think of my Ipsy's for this month. If you got Ipsy's, what do you guys think about yours? Let me know down below. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me or if you'd like to see my get ready with me using most of these products and products from an unboxing that's coming I think on Wednesday this week because I just need to catch up on my unboxings now. I need to catch up, hopefully get my subscription box content out before the end of the month because I don't like doing it the next month. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll catch you next time.